couple of signs in downtown Providence need to be replaced because of a spelling mistake that went unnoticed for years until now. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen went to look at the signs for himself to find out what's being done to replace them. Steve joins us now live in studio with what he's learned new at six. Well, Mike Shannon, I am just as guilty as everybody else I talked with today. I have walked down Westminster Street so many times, I never noticed that these signs were misspelled. It was actually a former reporter of ours who retired, Sean Daly. He saw it and posted it on Facebook. The mayor says now that they know about it, they're going to make sure they fix it. It's the heart of downtown Providence, busy Westminster Street. You're, wait, is it Westminster? <laughs> that's an island. That's, that's normal for an island. No, it's definitely Westminster. Two signs along the one-way road are spelled incorrectly. There it is, a rogue I between the N and S. Isn't spelling required? <laughs> Somebody's doing something wrong. Needs to get hooked on phonics. It's been like that for years, according to the city, but nobody noticed until now. That includes Joe Aruda, who says he's looked at that sign a hundred times. And honestly, like, you don't even realize it at all. And what do you think of it now? <laughs> I kind of feel bad, to be honest, because it makes you feel a little dumb. Providence Mayor said he's going to take them down and spell them correctly this time. It should cost about 200 bucks to fix the problem. Oh, get to it right away. It's one of these dumb things. Uh, we're trying to figure out how long it's been. It's, they tell us it's a couple or a few years that they've been like that. But Joe and a few others actually said, keep them up. Now it's going to be a tourist attraction if they leave it. Everyone's going to take pictures. <laughs> well, we can pause here and we can look at the misspelling mistake and uh, just marvel at it and wonder why it's like that. In any case, it's a good reminder before you put anything in print to make sure you cross your T's and dot your I's and maybe make sure there isn't a second one by mistake. Mayor Lorza says this is a good example of why residents should call 311. If you see an issue in this city, like a misspelled street sign, he says to let them know so that they can fix it. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.